All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom interface package. If you're new to my channel, I teach robotics, controls, machine learning, and computer vision, so subscribe to learn more. Check out my playlist on computer vision using AI, OpenCV in Python, ROS2, Git, Python, C++, SOLIDWORKS, mechanical design, and here's my GitHub that follows along with it. So a custom interface package is great if you want to interface or communicate with nodes using a custom way or message. So here we're going to start off by showing you how to do that. Um, we're going to go ahead and first go to our source folder. So after we go to our source folder, we're going to create our package. So we're going to run the ROS2 package create build type amend cmake tutorial interfaces will be the name of our package. So here we're going to go ahead and uh, make some of our messages. So if we take a look at our messages that we're going to be working with today in our interface folder, we have here we have our num message that's going to say int 64 num. And then we have a sphere message called geometry message point center and then uh, radius. And then we're also going to be dealing with services. So here we have int 64 ABC and then a result of sum. So let's go ahead and move these two folders that we're, we're going to be using today into our new folder that we just created, Tutorial Interfaces. So we're going to paste that in there. So if we go back to here. After we do that, um, we're going to, that's that way when we build the things, it's going to be ready to use those messages and services. So we're going to go ahead and replace our CMIC file. So let's go ahead and take a look at the changes we've made in our CMake file. So here in our CMake file, um, you're going to notice that the things we've changed are everything that's in between here. So we have a fine package geome geometry messages. So as you notice in one of our uh, messages, it used geometry messages. So that's why we need to um, include that. And then we have the ROS IDL default generators, which is something we'll need. And then here we have the, I, the generate interfaces, which will creates our header files, which can be used to find uh, the things that it's going to be using. So those are the main three things, the two messages and the one uh, for the service. Okay. So after that, let's go ahead and copy that over. So we're going to find, since it's just one file, I'm just going to copy this. Um, let's see, we have our CMake file. And then we also, we also want to update our package file. So the things that we updated in our package file is here we have an extra depend for the geometry messages. And then we have these three lines here, the ROS IDL default generators, the one for the runtime, and the one for the interface. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and copy these two files and then replace it. So here in the tutorial interfaces, I'm going to delete those two files. And then I'm going to go back and copy them, or I mean paste them in there. So if I paste it, those are my two files. So now going back to my readme, um, we're going to go ahead and build the package now. So if we, we're going to source, we're going to go back to our workspace and then run the command to build it. So Colcan build packages select tutorial interfaces. So this will make our package and have our messages available. So uh, we could quickly check if everything is working, if we CD to, um, yeah, we're already in the workspace. So we're going to go ahead and source it. So source install setup, and we could check one at a time. So this one right here is checking the message num. So you see it outputs the num as we create it. And then here is the sphere. And then the last one is for the service. So running all three commands, we have verified that um, everything is working properly. But we could formally test it using the pub sub and the service client architecture, the packages that we made previously. So uh, the th couple things that we need to do is replace the CMake and package.xml files. So uh, if we take a look at what we had before, um, here in our pub sub, we have our CMake list. So let's take a look at what changed. 
So we added this line here for the tutorial interfaces. This one here is for the talker and listener, and it's linking in the tutorial interfaces. And for our package.xml, the part that we're adding is this right here, the tutorial interfaces. So we're going to go ahead and copy those two files, and we're going to replace it in our old pub sub. So we're going to delete these two, and then we're going to paste it in there. So this is our CPP pub sub. And then we're going to also take a look at our source files that we're going to be using. So inside our source files, what we have here is our publisher and subscriber. So this one here is our publisher. So the, the things that we're adding now is this one, we have the tutorial interfaces. So this one will be generated, the HPP file will be generated from our uh, message file. And then the things that we're updating is here, now we're using a custom message called uh, num here, message is num. And then again, this one for the message, we're using a custom message num. These two are custom nums. And then here, we're also using the num. And then here we have the publisher here that's taking in the custom message num. And that's going to be everything for the publisher. And then the subscriber, the things that we're adding are also similar. So we have the num here that's been updated. Here we have another num. Pretty much everywhere that you can see the msg num, those parts are updated and new. So for my private uh, function here, the void topic callback, all of this is updated with the new num. And this should be usable for this new custom interface. So if we go back to here, um, we reviewed the different files that we're changing. So we're going to go ahead and copy that and replace it. So if we go back to the source, we're going to take these two files, the source, and then delete it. And we'll go ahead and paste it in here. So those will be our new source files. And then what we want to do is go to our workspace and rebuild the package with our new changes. So this will take in all of our new custom interface messages and integrate it with the previous PubSub uh, package that we made in our older tutorial. Okay, So this will allow us to test out our PubSub with the custom interface. So in one of our terminals, what we want to do is go to our folder. We're going to source install the setup, and then we're going to run the talker. So here we're going to do that. We're going to run the talker. So you can see it's publishing. And then in our other one, we're going to run the listener. So in my bottom terminal, I'm going to run this. It's going to run the listener, and you can see that it says, I heard. OK, so now we're going to test the service and client. So we're going to follow the similar steps that we did. We're going to go here to our service and client. We're going to take a look at the things that we've changed. So CMake list, we have our tutorial interfaces. Those parts, these three things are the newly updated ones. And then in our package.xml, we have this new line here for the tutorial interfaces. So we're going to go ahead and copy these two files and then come back here to our server client. We're going to update these two files here. We're going to delete that. And then we're going to paste it in there. So if we go back, we have our uh, service client here. We're going to paste it. And then let's take a look at our source file that we're updating. So here we have the client and server. So here for our server, what we notice is the things that we're changing is the three int uh, HPP. So here is the updated one. We're going to change our function call here to adapt to that. Here, here we have a new sum, which is based off of our response, because now our response is of type add three ints. And then pretty much anywhere that has a response is going to be updated as well as with the request, since the request is also from add three ints. So anywhere you see a response or request, we're going to be updating that. And all of this here, we're going to be updating it with our um, new custom interface. So that will allow us to read in the custom interface. So that's for the add to ints. And then we have our clients. That was a server. This one is a client now. Um, so now we have a couple of new arguments. Again, we first add our HPP that was generated. And then here we have uh, we're going to update this to work with the client. And here we have a shared pointer. This part, we're going to be using the 
newly used add three ints. And then here as well. And then here we have the new input um, output, the, the argument that we're going to be getting from the user if we have a new one, because now we're using three variables. And then this is the request that we're using. Okay, so those are the new lines. And then this last part here is going to be another new addition. If it failed, uh, we have the add three ints part. So now it's the new uh, message that we're outputting. Okay, so that's a general overview. Um, we're going to go ahead and copy those two files, and we want to update it. So we go back to here, the source. We're going to remove the two old files, and then we're going to paste in the new files here. So here we're going to paste it, and that should be ready to go. So now that we've replaced the files, we can finally uh, build it out. So we're going to go to our workspace and then run the Colcom build for the serve client. So this will allow us to use our custom add three ints um, file there to do the custom message. And then once that's done building, we could have one of our terminals and run the server um, node. So we go ahead and run this. You'll see it says ready to add three ints. And then in the other one for the client, you want to pass in the three values, one, two, three. If I run this, it's going to give a response sum equals to six. And then um, here it says sending back response six. Okay, so in my next video, I'm going to show you how to have an integrated interface package. If you want to combine a custom interface inside another package, this is how you do it in that video. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.